everyone welcome back for more exo zeros content this video we're going to discuss a new update for tomorrow it's going to be march 11 so um people have been waiting for this this includes actually the black and white series um uh, first would that would drop would be kylox fc but before that we'll try to discuss the other aspects of this update so we'll start off with this one so event world refreshing candy drop event so um as for those who are new to the game for those who are have been here uh have been playing the game for quite a while already this event it happens during your exploration of the world whether it be um um actual or uh afk um exploration wherein you you can actually um turn off a game while while your heroes explore the world so basically these are you will be earning candy or refreshing candy through the exploration and defeat golem and destroying ancient totem as well okay so i'm just gonna run through the the, the recipes the best that you can get here is actually baraka's exclusive weapon because um it's actually going it, you know as, as you all know usually ex exclusive weapons are very rare in the game that you you know even if you have a random random exclusive weapon ticket you're not really guaranteed to get what you want so this is your opportunity to get one for those who have the nombe you can get baraka's exclusive weapon for this event okay so this is the one that you, you should save for the most the next would be um i think your nation recruit tickets um uh, at 100 for each ticket and that's about it the rest uh, unless if you need um uh, experience scrolls or abrasives you can actually pull for this one then the, the second one but i will suggest only getting two nation recruit tickets and baraka's exclusive weapon okay for the second one that we're going to discuss is the seven days of gifts so let's try to open this one so as follows the gifts are day one 200 zest day two 500,000 gold day three is book of experience times 70 day four die coupons day five is nation recruit tickets and day six 500 zest as well but on day seven you get to get the fate core of dribbling greed heckin so it's this this is just going to be a orange fate core Plus, they're going to give out a nation recruit ticket. Actually, five nation recruit tickets for this event. Okay, for the f for the th third one, we're going to discuss the packages that they're going to release. So again, I'm just going to discuss the ones that are good that you can spend on if you really decide to spend on this game. So the best ones are not definitely not re nation recruit tickets because you can you can farm them. Um also um not this one as gold but this one the black and white zest package for uh yeah for zest um this is actually four thousand zest for five thousand crystals which is actually better than the one they currently have in the store but i'm sure this is of limited edition and probably you could get i think one two or three um times of this one so that's basically it more or less what um is actually viable if you want to purchase packages from this event okay so this is uh, what you all been waiting for in terms of uh, fate core so it has dropped for kylock let's uh, see what he has so kylock in a parallel world with a kind heart after discovering his natural born powers through the hard effort he uses his spells to aid others so basically kylock here is the good guy so that is why he's uh, themed as white Okay, so you can recruit hero plus fate core with higher probability than, than the premium recruit okay so in terms of design um i'm act i actually prefer the original one versus this one kind of uh, cooler than this one but it's actually very good as well in terms of design it's more of my preference for the old one but the overall design is pretty much very good as well so here is the additional stats for his fate core and also if you can remember he has previously man absorb three he also had absorb soul and the new one that 
is um, included in this fate core is a ascension so it's a mark so increases own defense by 20 percent for seven turns upon receiving health regeneration effects can be stacked up to five times so this ability i assume will be included in all of the black and white heroes so this is their default passive skill for that line so again i think um schmidt will also get this one but let's not discuss more uh, let's not discuss schmidt right now let's talk more on on kyla so how does this synergize with his kit okay number one kyla is actually very squishy so this actually gives him a lot more defense while um dorka should be in the party because it says here upon receiving health gen regeneration so Dorka will benefit both Absorb Soul and Ascension for Kylock. So again, I do hope um, Dorka gets her FC soon because this is actually going to help um, Kylock survive if they eventually have their own synergy and they have their own fate course. Okay. So basically, um, I think this is good, but this passive is actually better on defense-based fcs or heroes this will give him you know better defense overall but i'm not sure if um this is sufficient enough for his survival uh, for for his uh, survival uh even though if uh, it, this reaches uh, defense at 100 percent it just doubles his defense what if his defense is is that low so it actually doesn't matter if that person or that hero has a higher defense then you double it at at 100%. Then I think this would be very very good. Again, this would benefit much um, Schmid because Schmid his kit requires him um, requires him to make his defense um, high for his uh, what do you call this for his passive to take uh, effect on on oh, sorry master's footsteps to take effect. So basically for Schmidt, I think that this would work. But for Kylock, I don't think this would work. Um, this would just give him a little bit more defense, but not that much. Okay, so going on to his um, S1. So for his S1, it's going to be White Knight Reaper. So again, it's a single damage, 300% to one enemy. Required mana is one, which is very good. His S2 would be Evil Soul Harvester. So, required mana is 2, deals 89% damage to all enemies. Road's target deals 39% damage uh, for every 3 turns. Okay? So, again, um, Kylock would be a black fade core. So, basically, his, um, his chance to get is higher at 0.7% and one recruit mileage for recruiting heroes at 11 times. So the recruit mileage again for Black Fate course is at 19 and um, a required guaranteed to obtain Requiem Shaman Kylock. So this is actually his name, Requiem Shaman Kylock. Okay, so we go now to his exclusive weapon. So again, um, good take, good skin for the exclusive weapon, but Again, um, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really endorsing that you get his exclusive weapon here. This is going to take you a lot of zest, especially because for every pull, this is going to be 700 zest as well, similar to his fate core. So I wouldn't, you know, um, recommend you pulling for this one. Okay, so in a nutshell, in terms of Kylock, um, for those who are fans of of Brun. Of Brun and you think Kylock would be better with this one um I don't think he is that much he, he becomes actually average in terms of survival survivability none of his s1 and s2 has changed so basically it um, it makes him you know it's uh, just to just to tell you guys it's a bit disappointing in terms of what was given to him so that's my take um i was expecting better but knowing that this is a black fate core i'm i i was actually you know was wasn't supposed to expect that much but again 
um, we're trying to turn the corner here in terms of the quality of Black Fate cores. Um, especially, no, right now a lot of people are using FC Annie. So basically, for me, the benchmark for Black Fate cores should be FC Annie in terms of kit. So FC Annie can be a Black Fate core if you know if she if the devs wanted her to be with the skills that she has right now compared to this black black fate core i don't think that they are at par so basically my take on this um number one if you're a fan of kylock summon for him but if you're not and if you plan to use him i don't think he is actually worth your zest i would suggest you still wait for the gold fate core which is smith or try to look at what is the kit of um of Nemeris um but for this one i don't think um this is worth your zest guys you can actually pull him from one of the events that we have for you know for fate cores i some of the banners there that i did pull for i even got from the fate core tickets that that we get from events like the monthly mission so i would suggest you save your zest for schmidt and pass on this one okay unless you're really a fan of Kylock. And you would want to build Brun. You actually, that's the only time you summon or recruit for his fate court. Okay, guys. So anyway, um, those are my thoughts for the update. Again, it's just a regular update. Nothing special. Nothing, you know, nothing to be ex really, really excited of. Um, again, we're asking for the devs, line games. Please, us, please give us more more or better content we need that in the game we need uh, the game to be more enjoyable now more than ever okay so for any comments um in terms of the update please write them down below okay so guys take care as always this is the warden and i'm out